If you think Silicon Valley's tech nerds are building dangerous AIs, you are looking in the wrong place. While the world obsessively watches OpenAI and Google, debating safety rails and alignment, the real threat isn't happening in a glass office in San Francisco. It's happening in the dark. A second, far more volatile AI revolution is quietly spreading across anonymous servers, encrypted telegram channels, and decentralized networks. This isn't about rogue AI waking up and deciding to end humanity. It's about something far more immediate and practical, the industrialization of crime. We are witnessing the birth of the shadow AI economy, a place where ethics are stripped out, guardrails are deleted, and intelligence is sold to the highest bidder. And unlike the corporate world, this market has no rules, no oversight, and no off switch. To understand how we got here, you have to understand the architecture of the underground. It starts with a concept the public barely understands, open weights. When giants release a powerful model, they put safeguards in place, digital lobotomies that prevent the AI from generating hate speech or malware. But in the underground, these safeguards are viewed as bugs, not features. Almost immediately after a major model drops, a global collective of anonymous developers gets to work uncensoring it. They use techniques like ablative fine-tuning to surgically remove the refusal mechanisms. The result is a virgin model, pure, high-level intelligence with zero moral compass. These aren't clunky knockoffs. These are state-of-the-art brains that have been weaponized, compressed to run on consumer hardware, and distributed via torrents. The genie isn't just out of the bottle. The bottle has been smashed, and the shards are being sold for crypto. This has created a booming marketplace for crime as a service. In the past, if you wanted to launch a sophisticated phishing attack or code a polymorphic virus, you need a deep technical skill. Today, you just need a subscription. We are seeing the rise of platforms like Fraud GPT, Dark Bard, and Bad GPT. These are fully operational large language models trained specifically on dark web datasets leak databases, malware source code, and successful scam scripts. They don't just write text, they write exploits. They can generate phishing emails so culturally and linguistically perfect that they bypass every spam filter. They can write code that rewrites itself every time it infects a new machine to stay invisible to antivirus software. The barrier to entry for devastating cybercrime has effectively dropped to zero. A teenager in a bedroom can now wield the offensive capabilities that used to belong to state-sponsored hacker groups. If you want a terrifying glimpse of this reality, look at the $25 million ghost call heist in Hong Kong. This wasn't a simple hack. It was a psychological operation executed by AI. An employee at a multinational finance firm was suspicious of a transfer request, so he asked for a video call. He joined the meeting and saw his chief financial officer. He saw his colleagues. They were talking, reacting, and discussing the business. He felt safe. He transferred the money. But it was all a lie. Every single person on that call, except for him, was a deep fake, rendered in real time with perfect voice cloning and facial mimicry. The technology to do this used to cost millions and require Hollywood studios, but now it's a service you can rent. We have moved from hacking computers to hacking reality. But looking forward, the true nightmare scenario isn't a chatbot or a deepfake. It's the autonomous agent. This is the next phase of the black market. We are moving toward set-and-forget malware. Imagine a malicious actor renting a swarm of 1,000 autonomous AI agents. They give the swarm a single objective. Compromise the employees of Bank X. These agents don't need sleep. They don't get tired. They will crawl LinkedIn, scrape personal data, cross-reference it with leaked passwords, generate hyper-personalized bait, and engage targets in long-form conversations to steal credentials. It is the automation of social engineering. It creates an asymmetry that defense cannot overcome. The attacker can try a million times a second for fractions of a penny, but the defender only has to slip up once to lose everything. This leads us to a chilling conclusion. We are entering an era of portable intelligence. You can regulate a corporation, you can fine a CEO, you can shut down a website, but you cannot arrest a file. Once a powerful uncensored model is compressed and downloaded onto a local hard drive, it becomes unstoppable. 
It can be hosted in a basement in Russia, a server farm in Nigeria, or a laptop in Ohio. The infrastructure of the AI black market is decentralized, resilient, and growing faster than the legal market because it is unburdened by safety testing. The tools being forged in these shadows are sharper, faster, and more aggressive than anything you will see in a tech keynote. So if you're looking for the future of AI, stop watching the official announcements. The next breakthrough and the next catastrophe won't come from a press release. It will emerge from the silence of the dark web, fully formed and ready to strike. The digital world is about to get much more dangerous, and the only way to survive is to understand the weapons being built against you. Don't forget to subscribe to stay ahead because there's some stories tech giants won't tell you.